Boy, let me tell you what. Thank God for propane. All this here Corona stuff here, at least I can grill with propane. Thanks for tuning in to the channel again. What? What do you want? Little beggar? You little beggar, you? Hey gang, welcome back to the channel. I get a lot of questions uh, in the comments section, people asking me what kind of gear do I use? What, what does my helmet setup look like? So I figured I'd make a video to answer a lot of those questions. So hopefully you get something out of it and maybe even get a little motivation to give it a shot yourself. So thanks for tuning in and also thanks for all the positive comments. I really do appreciate it. It's uh, nice to know that the effort is appreciated. So let's get on with it. All right, the first item I'm gonna go ahead and show you is the Canon 80D. And this is uh, a creator um, package, basically, kind of set up by the manufacturer for people that do uh, YouTube and things like that. And it came with the autofocus here, and basically you just control it with this little lever, and it detaches just by popping this and knocking it down and, and just pulling it right off like that. And it came with a microphone here. The microphone is uh, super delicate. Uh, matter of fact, I broke it within uh, probably a couple of days of buying the unit. Um, so fortunately, I always get insurance on stuff and I went ahead and went back and luckily they had another one, so I picked another one up. So it comes in three parts, this, the camera, and the autofocus. And then as you can see here, I've got the uh, adjustable tripod and it's even got a little level level here on the back. So when you're looking at the camera, if you have it set up, you can tell if you're level or not. But it's a pretty good cam. <clears throat> excuse me, it's a pretty good camera. Um, I got it because there was. It's a limited amount of uh, zooming you can do with a GoPro. Um, it's uh, not very good for trying to pick up stuff that are distant and bringing it in close. You have to get up close. So I figured one of these days I would either get a drone or get one of these cameras, and I figured that I would have more use for the camera than, uh, than I would a drone. Although a drone would be cool, and who knows, maybe that'll be in the future. But anyway, that's the first item, my uh, newest item as well, the camera setup. The next item is, uh, I've got a selfie stick here that extends out to 48 inches and I've used it to um, try to get a little elevation to get above, if I'm in a crowd, to get, abo to get above the people. And then also I've experimented on it while on my motorcycle and I'll try to hunt down a couple of clips to show you what that does when I'm using it on the motorcycle to get different view uh, perspectives and viewpoints while uh, traveling. On the GoPro tripod, you basically unscrew the, the base out of it and extend the tripod legs out and use that. And you can, through manipulating this, you can make it longer. And the camera usually mounts right here, but like I said, I uh, broke part of it off, so I have to get a new one. But uh, this comes in pretty handy. Um, sometimes if I'm being lazy, I'll just leave the camera on the helmet and put the cam uh, the uh, helmet underneath my arm while I'm walking around doing things and just controlling it with my cell phone because I have a GoPro app on my cell phone that uh, operates the GoPro. So we'll go ahead and uh, show you the next item. And to hold uh, hold all the small stuff 
and my chargers and things like that. I went ahead and got this from uh, the uh, tech section at Best Buy, which is where I got a lot, a lot of my stuff, if not almost all of it. But I keep all the smaller items in here. Um, have my hard drive and all kinds of stuff in this box. Um, I keep spare batteries in there for the GoPro because GoPros are notorious for burning through batteries really quickly. So I bought a couple extra batteries. So I usually carry three, one in the camera and two spares. And that usually will last me as long as I'm not going too crazy or leaving the camera running accidentally. They'll last me for several hours of uh, filming throughout a day. And I've got this little suction cup GoPro thing here as well to attach the camera. I've used it a couple times. I'm just kind of paranoid because I only have one GoPro, so I'm hesitant to use it. But I thought maybe I could just attach a, a dummy cord to it in case it falls off. It won't uh, go bouncing down the highway. And I've got a bag here that's just full of random um, stick'em attachment points and spare parts for the GoPro to be able to manipulate it into several different uh, configurations. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, I've got a, a couple of uh, a couple of mounts in here. I'll pull these out and show them to you. This is a mount that clips onto handlebars. This one here is for the smaller diameter ones. I've got one for the larger diameter floating around somewhere. Not sure exactly where it is, but they're pretty handy. This one here would fit on uh, like soft tails and stuff like that. Um, the larger diameter one you would need for uh, custom bars or uh, beefier kind of uh, sized bars. But they're really handy. This one here, you just operate this and swivel the head and that's how that operates. And it's got a rubber bushing here so it doesn't slip and slide around and make rattling noises while your camera's running. And just some random spare parts that I had in those bags and of course I guess the main the main event would be the helmet so let's go ahead and get on with that before I run out of batteries okay so here's my helmet setup um, what I've got is a showy full face helmet obviously it's the Brigand model I think they're discontinued but um, what I did was is I went online and did a little research and found some moto vloggers that uh, we're putting out videos similar to mine. I forget who I got this from. It might have been Adam Sandoval or Blockhead or uh, maybe John Maxwell or one of those popular guys. I know it was one of the one of the more popular people. But um, I went out and got the uh, arm assembly here, and it's got a little stickum uh, base. Um, I had it fall off once when I first put it on. Eh. It was a really hot day out, and I guess I didn't give it enough time to cure up and get a good grip. But this one, this time, it's uh, held up ever since then. So uh, I went online and got it. I uh, forget the name of the company. It was a Japanese company that um, basically all of this I got from uh, an Amazon site that I found. And then, of course, we got the GoPro set up itself with the GoPro knob and the mount and the casing that came with the camera. And this piece right here is a GoPro branded uh, external microphone and I have some Velcro stuck and zip tied onto it to keep it attached securely to the helmet so it doesn't fall off. And something to make note of is the part here where it uh, plugs into the camera you have to take off the little door and once you do that you you, you lose um, your water resistance so if it's raining out um, I tend to take the camera off especially if it looks like it's going to be more than just a very very brief sprinkle and then plugged into the back is a lavalier uh, octopus mic they call it which is basically just the plug and this wire that I have routed back to the cheek piece. And then back here, I've brought the, the wiring out and bundled it up and Velcroed it into a bundle and then Velcroed it to the side of the helmet. And if the microphone slips and 
Uh, I'm thinking that I might be picking up a lot of wind noise. Sometimes the microphone will slip down out of the uh, chin part. And uh, what I do is I just give these wires here a little tug and it'll tighten it back up. Up here in the chin piece, you can see the microphone sticking out. I have the little spongy part zip tied on with a really small zip tie because I've lost a couple of those spongy parts and when you do that almost all of your uh, wind is uh, picked up so anything that the slightest bit of a breeze is gonna make the sound quality go way downhill. So basically it just kinda is hidden away underneath here and underneath the chin piece and the side piece and then it comes down here to the back and is bundled up. When you're out riding around you definitely have to have the visor down unless you're going really slow because um, the wind the wind noise uh, gets a bit obnoxious so uh, that's one thing you always have to be aware of keep that visor down. But the, the setup is a, a really good one. It's sturdy. Um, I only had it come apart on me one time and uh, it, the sound quality is pretty good. I get some good positive commentary on the uh, comments sections of the videos and a lot, a lot of people have been asking me what do I use and um, what my setup is. So like I said, that's, that's the main reason for this video. Um, so hopefully uh, that'll give you some inspiration if you have a uh, yearning to get a YouTube channel of your own or just to uh, make a video of your travels and um, just to share with your friends um, on just a normal kind of a platform. But other than this, um, I use a GoPro uh, app for my on my cell phone and basically I just uh, bring it up give it a tap and go ahead and uh, get on there and um, it connects via Bluetooth so that works out really good alright well that'll be it for this video hope you enjoyed it and uh, like I said I hope it uh, answers your questions if you like the content of the channel do me a favor and like like the videos share, subscribe, and hit that little bell for notifications. Take care, and as always, ride safe, wear your helmet. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.